this is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. Today I'm going to talk about curve-driven patterns. We have simple curve-driven patterns and we have some complex ones. I'm going to talk about simple ones. In another video I'm going to get into the complex. So what I've got here is I've got a couple configurations here of this part. This one shows a slot and I've also got a counterbore. Let's start with the counterbore. It's kind of simple. So and then we'll go to the slot. So I want to, under linear pattern up here, I want to go to curve driven pattern. And the first thing I want to do is pick the edge of this. Now, it only picked a small amount of that edge. Well, is that going to be a problem? Yes, it is. I need to pick the whole edge. Uh-oh, that's not good. Well, maybe if I just reverse it here, that doesn't help. And there, if, I, if I kill that selection, and I right click, there's no selection manager like there is in sweeps and lofts to let me select the whole thing. So what I have to do is go back to the original sketch and lay a fit spline over the top of the sketch entities or I have to do a composite curve. Insert curve composite and select all the edges. If I right click and pick select tangency, it goes all around and that gives me a composite curve that I can use or I can go back here to the original sketch window around the entire world here and I've got fit spline up here or you can search for it up here fit spline lays a spline over the top of this so now it's one continuous edge so now what I want to do is I want to go to features I want to go to my curve driven pattern I want to pick the edge and note it picks the whole thing now there we go that's what I'm talking about and under features and or faces, just pick that face and back out here so I can see it. Move this out of the way. That's exactly what I'm looking for right there. And if I reverse this the other way, it doesn't make any difference on this one. Equal spacing around the edge, or I could make whatever. Now these other things in here don't make too much difference. Now transform to curve, offset curve, those do make a difference. If I do transform, it goes out of the lines. So this is trial and errors. What works the best here? So on this one, it happens to be offset. So one, two, three, go. So let's go to the other configuration. I've got a slot. I've already got my uh, edge set so the way I want it. So I can do my uh, curve driven pattern. I can pick my edge and then drop my uh, fly out feature manager down, pick my slot, and there we go. Now, we have a couple of settings here for alignment method. Tangent to curve or align to seed. This is tangent to curve. Like driving your car along the road, okay? It stays parallel to the side of the road all the way around with the elongated way of the slot following right along. Align to seed, on the other hand, aligns all of the cuts so that they're the same orientation as the original cut. Now, Think Ferris wheel. You get in your Ferris wheel bucket and your feet and your butt face the ground all the way around the circle or curve. Okay? That's what this is all about. Transform curve. No. Nope. Offset curve. And then tangent to curve. Yeah, tangent to curve is what I'm looking for in this case. So there we go. One, two, three, go. And we're all set. Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. Have a great day.